Mmm, baby. <laughs> we got some stuff. We got some stuff going on, and it's not just a virus anymore. Actually, entertaining stuff uh, going on in the sports world, which is we, we thought was impossible, or at least going to be impossible for the, the upcoming, the, the future, foreseeable future, uh, because no one's playing any sports anymore. But apparently the NFL offseason just said, F it, we're just going to take control here and just get real crazy. Uh, I guess let me just introduce who's on the podcast. We got Reggie. We have Ryan Lynch. Uh, I hardly ever say his first name, so that was really weird for me. Uh, Blake and David here on the podcast. Welcome to the Chunk Podcast. And it's it's really all we have to talk about at this point in the sports world is the NFL and what we're seeing. Also, Kevin Durant has coronavirus. Uh, all I'm, KD. I just want to let everybody know that. My next chapter. Yes, my next chapter. <laughs> uh, we have to. This, we'll push that basketball. Game I had out of to. The way. Yeah, I had yeah. That picture's the best meme in a long time. Yeah. Every time something happens with Kevin Durant, they Photoshop that, uh, and it's just, it's he's just got a lot of. Chapters. Even when there's another, the even when there's like another sport, if like when the uh, the women's soccer team won the World yeah. Cup, my next chapter. It's it's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid meme. Okay. That is funny. So he'll be quarantined for the foreseeable future, and and ho- I mean obviously he'll be okay. Hopefully his his Achilles is fine. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll hope we hope to see the rest of the NBA. See, actually, real quick before I leave the NBA again, because now we're down down a rabbit hole. I'm hearing that the farther they push this season back, they're trying to still have a playoffs for this season, a resolution for this season, and it could come in August. You know, August, even September, and maybe they just shorten next season. Um, there are talks that like maybe Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving could finish this season with the Nets if it goes far enough. I don't know how you guys feel about that or if you saw anything about that, but KD and Kyrie Irving could come back to the Nets and make a playoff run. Well, KD's got coronavirus, so how is he going to play? Well, okay, listen. I'm sure. I, I, I mean, I'd like to think that that would go away by the time the season came out. And we don't know, Doyle. We don't know. There's, yeah, there's a lot we don't know. But that is something that I haven't like thought about. It is this is really favoring injured players. They just get to chill. Yeah, unless for, they have coronavirus. I mean, it yeah. sucks, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coronavirus. There's no good. There's no good of coming out of this. But when if you look at the flip side, sports wise. People are relaxing and chilling and streaming video games and not the injured players are just rehabbing. Yeah. So like you said, I didn't I didn't hear that. Um, but it makes sense. Obviously, you extend it further and further and further. It's possible. They could possibly play. It would. Uh, this season. I don't know. It'd be really hard, especially at the end. Of the, if they were just like, um, they, I'm sure they wouldn't have much of a regular season. They would just jump right into the playoffs pretty pretty quickly. So I I can't imagine. It would be good to just start rolling out Kevin Durant on his comeback tour yeah, in the playoffs it makes, again. It makes most sense to just do the playoffs this summer, whenever they, as soon as they can, and then just shorten next season. Yeah, I think that's what they'll wind up doing. Hopefully, I, I, I mean, did I, you, uh, what's up? Did you all did you see what uh, Spencer did? Witty uh, like proposed as what did like he, a playoff t- type thing. Did he make another like cryptocurrency? No, no, no. <laughs> he uh, he came out with this uh, like idea of mimicking the NCAA tournament. I love it. Um, he basically said, I'm trying to find it right now, but he said that there would be like five game warm up. So basically you're not jumping right back into the playoffs. Yeah. And then um, you were playing, you know, a series against other teams and going from there. Um, I want to say he said a best of seven, but I feel like a best of seven could get really, really drawn out. Oh, your best of seven against everybody? I'm not sure. Ah, that's players. a bit much. I, I listen the make, but again, making it the like the NCAA tournament where it's one and done. That even if whoever won the championship would just have an asterisk on that. I don't even think that would even really count. So I mean, compared to the other ones, but it's a fun idea. I just don't think it would it would give us a legitimate champion. I don't know. It, it, it's it, it, anything's on the table at this point because we don't even know when this will be cleared up. But anyway, we've talked way too much about the NBA and basketball in general. But let's talk about Sir Thomas Brady. Breaking news: We waited long enough to record this podcast that we were able to see Adam Schefter actually re- actually tweet something along the lines of Tom Brady. He, if you haven't heard by now, he's leaving the Patriots. He's gone. He's no longer in New England. That is official. We've sat on that, and he's released a, a, a statement about that. From what we're hearing now, apparently the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the front runners and are actually going to announce tomorrow 
which you could be listening to this whenever, but tomorrow I mean March 18th, Wednesday, that he's going to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. I'm going to throw up. I think I'm going to puke. Hey, man. You, not everyone can have, you know, the greatest quarterback of all time. I, okay, listen. Okay, by no means am I jealous. Just so you're clear, by no means am I jealous. I'm just saying, out of all the jerseys imagining Tom Brady in, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers jerseys got to be one well, of the weirdest. Here's the thing, though. They're getting new jerseys, so whatever you're imagining them in, <laughs> you, you have no clue until the next one. That month. is true. Okay, that touche, true. but I can't imagine they're going to be drastically different, right? Yeah, they're probably the same, same gross puke poop pants and the weird red, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I don't well, you know. You guys are misunderstanding. I think you misunderstood Schefter's tweet. Um, he's not going to the Bucks. He's going to the Tampa Bay Vipers. Oh, oh, XFL. oh that'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> now we're talking. I have to credit one of my buddies who said that in a group chat a couple hours ago, and I died. Yo, I could, like, you could you imagine? Oh, my God, it'd be insane. <laughs> that- 2020 is off to a terrible, awful, weird start. Yeah. So nothing really surprises me anymore, but that would just be absurd. Yeah, no, I could see him doing as it. it I, right? Just the – I mean, his – Salary would have to be like three teams combined salaries. Okay, I want everyone's getting paid like forty to fifty or sixty k. Yeah, it'd be ridiculous. He he would basically be funding the entire revenue for the the entire league. (laughs) His contract would just be like he would just own the team. Yeah, yeah. It's the TB12 (laughs) Vipers now. Okay, so we're on Tom Brady. He's going to the Bucks. That's what I mean. If this changed, if this changes tomorrow, then I'm going to laugh at Colin Coward and everybody else. But this is apparently where it seems pretty. It seems pretty legit at this point. And Schefter saying it. Yeah, if Schefter says it, Mm -hmm. usually he's pretty right. So, I got to say, if, in my opinion, which no, does anybody really care about my opinion? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a huge platform. But if you're listening to this, I have your ear. I don't think this is going to be good for anybody. I'm just saying. I, 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 it it I, can't be worse. It can't be worse. Yes, it can. I think it can. What's your prediction, Dwight? What's your prediction, like, mm-hmm. record-wise? How does Record? Oh, okay, listen. I, let, me get to the re- let me get to records because I haven't I actually thought, thought about, about that. Yeah, so, well. uh, so, here's my deal. I, I know we've been saying it for a while, but Tom Brady is not – he's not uh, hes not that good anymore. I don't know. I, he's I, not 2007, 2008, 2009 Tom Brady, right? He, yeah, we fair? saw it. We saw it last season, and, and I, I don't know what happened. Obviously, it's the Patriots. I mean, you just expected them to do stuff. But I just – he got kind of carried by that defense for the vast majority of that season. When the defense started giving up, they were bad. They just weren't that good anymore. I don't know. It, it he he's wasn't the gonna, reason they were winning a lot of those games. He's not going to throw 30 picks, though. Well, he's not going to throw a ball farther than 10 yards. Like, hey, I feel man. I feel bad for Mike Evans and Chris Godwin because they yeah, just I went mean, from the slinging, like the most gunslinger, like who gives mm-hmm. a shit quarterback ever. Deep routes. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. I want you to take one step and cut left and run as fast as you can, and I'm going to dump it off to you. You're going to get tackled and gain six yards. Yeah, I don't know if the Bucks have a James White where they can dump it off every – Every other play. A Hogan, a Burkhead, a West Welker when they had him. Yeah, the they, Bucks got to get yeah. some quick dudes. Well, okay, oh. there are – listen, they have they have a lot of weapons. I, I think they have a lot of good wide really receivers. They really don't. They got two good receivers. That's it. They I, have O.J. Howard. Um, O.J. Howard's a bum. Well, O.J. Howard's yeah, better I'm with any Reggie. tight end on the Cowboys <laughs> – on the Cowboys roster, well, that, so calm down. Tom Scott Brady, because all... we don't have because we don't have any good tight end, so he's what better than a crappy I'm tight sorry. end. Your best tight end <laughs> ever is now a Raider. So. Oh I'm yeah. I'm just saying OJ Howard is booty. I'm not saying the Cowboys are, <laughs> have a good tight end. OJ Howard is and, trash. And then and then they're also linked to Antonio Brown. Yeah. So yeah. If, he, if they get him, then that changes some things. I don't think that changes him that much, though. I, I, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, listen, he's another – obviously, he's a really good player, but th- I think they have enough weapons to accommodate a good quarterback, and we saw it. If Jameis Winston just didn't throw as many interceptions as he did, that they were good. Bucks like, are a playoff team. They yeah. were good. They were they – were, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I, don't, I, I just don't think this is going to turn out like everybody thinks it is. And, and Lynch, before we started this, obviously reminded everybody that the Super Bowl is in Tampa this year. No team has ever just taken their team. To host the Super Bowl, and so I don't know how this is going to work. I don't. I don't think it's going to play out. I don't think it's going to happen this year. I. I don't know. I don't want to be like negative Nancy, but I don't. I think they're going to be fighting for a playoff spot at the end of like the last few games of the season. I don't think it's going to be a, a sure thing. I don't know. Listen, dude, the, the fucking that entire division is turned upside down. The NFC South has Drew Brees. Drew Brees is old as dirt. And Matt Ryan, not very mobile. 
That team, I don't know what the make of the Falcons every single year. You never know. What I think they're, well, aren't they due for an up year? Right? You would, mm. you would think <laughs> up year, but not like I mean, they they did terrible last year, but not playoff really Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. No, I agree. And then, and then you have Matt Rule in his first year with Teddy Bridgewater. Ugh. Like. Which, Who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Bucks. The Bucks are a borderline playoff team. Maybe they'll ma- they'll make the wild card. I see the Bucks. As yeah, a I'm with wild I'm card with Reggie. Team. I'm with Reggie. I, yeah. I, I I the thing is that that division always struggles to get a wild card team because it beats the shit out of each other every single year. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but there is an extra playoff team this year. I think right. I don't oh, is that so starting in 2021? I don't know, I dude. One or two. Coronavirus might just yeah. win the Super Bowl. I don't know what's Pretty going much. On. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if they're at another spot for the playoffs, I think they make it, but they make it 9 and 7. I don't think they win more than 9 games. Yeah, Tom Brady's not That's much of very a very fair. Not I would much of a force 10. multiplier anymore. I would take 10. Okay, you could take 10. You could take for 15. What? Take all you want. They got a running back and a defense. <laughs> they have Ronald Jones and they have Peyton Barber. They have they have decent pieces at running back. They just need an offensive line. That's the issue, is the offensive line. And if we learned anything last year with New England, it was the fact that Tom Brady didn't have as good of an offensive line in front of him. Yo, if you guys don't have an offensive line, i give you three wins. Oh, I fucking I agree. <laughs> yeah. But here's the oh thing. Boy. The, defense, and... the defense is a lot better than it was last year because the last four games, the defense played out of its mind because all those rookie and second-year cornerbacks – started playing like they actually knew how to play football and they weren't playing with their thumb up their butt. Uh, speaking of digits, uh, fingers, Jason Pierre-Paul is coming home to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, USF and Tampa Bay legend Jason Pierre-Paul, right? So that's pretty exciting. Stay That'll home. help the defense. He is, yeah. yeah. Tell him to not drive any more cars and stay away from fireworks. Yeah, well, who knows? I don't know what he's been up to lately. I mean, he's he been... To be honest, he wasn't driving that other car that he got in the car accident in. Hmm. Where he mm. broke his neck. Yeah. Damn, he man. Had a driver. Come on. This dude's got bad juju. So I'm going to get him. Stay away from him. Speaking of juju, he ain't, what's he going to be doing? The now, big, I, the, what is he the up to? Thing, yeah. The biggest thing is that they signed Shaq Barrett. So. Yeah, that's good. They they signed him. And who they fra- who they franchise? Did they franchise somebody? They franchised Shaq. Oh, they did franchise him. Okay. I thought they signed him to a longer contract. So now they're just going to franchise I wish, him. I wish. Yeah. That'd be nice to lock him up. But yeah. Okay. So. I don't know. I, okay, real quick before we move on from this, I you said Drew Brees is old. Uh, yes. I would rather have Drew Brees than Tom Brady on my team. A billion that. years, a trillion years. I'd rather have Taysom rather Hill that. than both. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I like your style. You're like a liar, right. Lynn. <laughs> you tell me you'd be excited if the Bucks signed Taysom Hill instead of Tom Brady right now. Yes. <laughs> It'd be pretty I nuts. Mean, that's more, yeah, that's way more like that's thinking in the, in the future. You know, I mean, that'd be fun to watch. Rather than just one or, or two. It'd be fun to watch. I would like okay, to know who the quarterback long... is in five years. Oh, uh, well, it's going to be. How long is Tom Brady going to be there? I guess we're going to find out details tomorrow. So when everyone's listening yeah. to this Wednesday, it's Tuesday Wednesday. night now. But how long is he going to be in Tampa? The dude's, <laughs> what's his exact age? Oh, I'm he's 42, right turning 43 in 42. August. 42. Okay, so by the time the season starts, especially with the delay, so definitely he'll be 43. Three, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he turns forty three in August. Playing? Forty-three. So can I give the? Go ahead. No, no, no. I okay. So I think. Listen, he won't. He won't sign with another. T- he wouldn't have left the Patriots for a one-year contract. So like, I I think they at least get him for two years. Um, there may be some like option or stipulation in the second year or something like that. But I don't. I don't. I don't know. I I don't foresee this going more than one season. According to my sources, it's two years, thirty million a year. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard the thirty million as well earlier today. Um, when they were still debating between the Bucks and Chargers, can we? Oh, first I want to give the the Jets fan take, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, go for it, man. Let it rip. I'll uh, for me and me and JJ. Yes. On, on behalf of him, um, super happy. I made it like my first ever TikTok thing. Uh, Blake was filming it. The I was like, dude, just film this, and I never do those live reactions. It was Tom Brady's last drive against the Titans, and he did the pick six. I was like. They're dead. They are so dead. This dy- the reign of terror is over. Couldn't be happier. Um, I honestly thought he was just going to retire or try to go one more year. But still, him being in a Patriots jersey, I still think, from watching that season, 
everyone said, even Barstool, who's the biggest Tom Brady, New England, Boston fans, said Tom Brady is the weakest link. They were saying that in September, they were saying that midseason, and they were saying that in the playoffs. He was the weakest link. But the Patriots were all around amazing. So that end, the season ends, and then when this happened, it was great to wake up to the news, with especially with everything going on in the world right now, that he's officially out of, out of New England. But I don't like the Bucks, so I'm kind of pissed that he went there. <laughs> I'm happy for my friends, but I lived in Newport Ritchie, which is like in the Tampa Bay area, way closer than like Sarasota is. Oh, my God, I hated their fans so much. So I was just Dang. turned off from that team. Yeah, okay. sorry, Newport Ritchie in that well, area. Yeah, Newport but I'm Ritchie pissed. A, like, it's a rat hole. <laughs> Newport Ritchie is awful. So you you weren't yeah. experienced the best, the best of the best. Yeah, I can't. But I will say, I can I can I redeem myself real quick. Sure. I love. I mean, I went to college 30 minutes from Tampa. I go to Tampa all the time. I do, and I have all my friends from Florida are are Tampa Bay Bucks fans. So as a Jets fan, the Jets fan in me is happy that he's gone from. Um, the Pats, the Floridian in me is pissed that he went to the Bucks, but the the good person in me is happy for my friends, and I do love the city of Tampa, so it's cool. Yeah. Anything to put us on the map a little bit, I'm down for, and that would be, I don't see it happening, but that would be really badass. Super Bowl in Tampa, in our backyard, and the Bucks go? I Again, don't see it happening, but yeah. that would be insane. Oh it, my God. Cool. It would be pretty would nuts. Be unreal. It, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's funny. Is Tom Brady needs more accolades and records. He really does. Uh, he, he probably could sure, use yeah. a few more, and uh, that would be one of them. But I just don't... I, uh, what's up, Ready? I, I got a question. Yeah. Who... What's the plan for the Patriots quarterback-wise? Uh, well, there's a shit ton of them out there. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but who's, like, who's the type of guy that Belichick... Wants to sign. Like, who's out there that's a Belichick guy? Jameis. Jameis, man. He loves a little project. You think no. so? Watch him go. He or, would go there. And, like, the, I, I heard that the there's a prospective trade for uh, Jacoby Brissett. Yeah, I could, I could see, see that. that. I could see okay. that. That I makes sense. I could see that because bring, they just got so Rivers. bring him back. Yeah. Yeah, so Phillip Rivers is now with the Colts. I uh... Dude, the world has flipped upside down. That is crazy. We I just, have so many major changes. There's just so many of these old guys changing teams. I just don't know how effective this is going to wind up for, that, for any of them. Does that ever work? Well, Besides like Peyton Manning, Peyton, I guess, but Peyton Manning was still like in his prime. I will say Joe Brett Montana. Favre. When Brett Favre made it to the Vikings, he had a couple he had like a run or two there. He had a yeah, and the Jets. Right. <laughs> no, I, I didn't say the Jets, but yeah. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, Joe Montana weird. had that one year with the Chiefs. Yeah, but they didn't win anything. They went to the Super Bowl. Did mm. they? Yeah. Mm. They didn't win, though. Oh, I mean, they, they made it to the Super Bowl, wins. though. That's still so pretty still impressive. still won the AFC Championship. <laughs> I guess. Like, that's more than the Cowboys can say for the last freaking 25 years. <laughs> you watch your tone, Lynch. <laughs> yo, yo. Dak yo, is taking us I, all the way. I, can I say something else really quick? It'll do and it. On a personal note. So I moved to Inglewood, uh, like in like right around hurricane charlie time uh before i was going to eighth grade and i met the first friends i met were lynch and reggie and we would play because lynch lived like right behind my house not like in the in the forest just like in a house, <laughs> in the right. my house. <laughs> he's in the woods yeah <laughs> he, he lived in the street behind my place and i met them in the summer and i was the i was the jets fan lynch was like the boston red stocks and lynch is your football team the bucks yeah Okay, just wanted to like clarify. Um, and then Reggie was the Cowboys fan. And hearing you guys banter, literally, I'm like a seventh grader again because this is the first time I've been on with both you guys. I love it. I, it's like I'm in seventh grade again. It's hilarious. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> I just said, uh, Reggie, you're like, I feel like every Cowboys fan's a Yankees fan. That's that just like, that's like exclu- exclusive. Know, isn't that weird? Isn't that just how it works? Is like, I think when I was a kid, I just like saw all the teams winning championships. And I'm like, okay, that's my team. We call them bandwagons. Them bandwagons. You're like, <laughs> yeah, but I st- I've stuck with them through all the crappy years afterwards. <laughs> You're like, which one Especially of the, the which one of these logos is the coolest to wear, <laughs> like societally? Like everyone's like, yes. Yeah, and the best thing about that is like those teams are on TV all the time too. So yeah. it's like I never miss a game. Very true. It's fair. All right. Uh, we've so we've talked about Tom Brady, obviously, but to the worst news I think of all, to me and, and from a fantasy football perspective. DeAndre Hops- Hop- Hopskins, jeez, that sounds that's that sounds like some sort of disease. I got the Hopskins. Uh, no, DeAndre Hop- Hopkins. Why can't I say his name? 
How do you say his name again? <laughs> say it one more time. You got corona. DeAndre. You know it's oh not going to work out. This, this is a Don't sign of coronavirus. I think I, uh, I have coronavirus of the tongue. DeAndre Hopkins from the Houston Texans traded to the Cardinals. Uh, picks were swapped, not enough to make it work, but D- uh, David Johnson, the running back, goes back to the Texans in probably one of the dumbest trades I've seen in a long time. But I will say, listen, I'm a big fan, and I always have been, of David Johnson. He won me quite a few games in fantasy in the years too. past. Me too. And I'll always have faith in this man. Doyle loves this guy. I do. I love him unconditionally. Until week two, the <laughs> I, past like two weeks, two seasons, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, listen, he's had he's got his issues for the last few seasons he but, broke his wrist That's, yeah uh, just, which all we all know run. it makes it really hard to run uh, yeah i don't understand how he's out for so long with a broken wrist like uh, put a cast on yeah. play with one hand you can still run the ball oh, i man. broke my wrist in little league baseball and i was at game three oh like, hey. yeah i mean some, <laughs> Come on, some people Johnson. are strong man this guy he's a professional football player you it's it's tough <laughs> you know they're not really uh good at staying healthy but anyway these people, I don't know what it is about it, but I think oh no, I say these people. It's Bill O'Brien, the uh, coach slash GM of the Texans, is just straight up booty cheeks, and he just got flamed on social media, rightfully so. But that trade, I don't know what you guys were thinking when it happened, but I just was sickened to my core. And I'm not a Texans fan, but if I was a Texans fan, I would no longer be a Texans fan. That that's that's my take on it. I've got a friend who's a Texans fan, diehard. Um, his family's from Houston and the Texas area, and he texted us that he is still on suicide watch. <laughs> he is, like, beyond bummed. He changed his phone wallpaper to the Texans logo with, like, a face to palm or a palm Jeez. to face. Tell him if he wants like to, he can pissed. become a Cowboys fan. His So his whole family is Dallas fans. And that's why he's like, ah, screw this. I'm going to be different. Like when he was a kid. Okay. And mm-hmm. chose the Texans out of nowhere. And yeah. That's like right when they were like created. He's like, that's fun. I'll go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right when they were created. Yeah. Like 2002. <laughs> that's one of the worst trades I've ever seen. Like they didn't even get a first round pick for him. You lose your start. How's that even happen? Stefan Diggs got. He's you the, see what he... this trade for Stefan Diggs? Everything. Yeah. The first round pick. Right? Then some. Yeah. First round pick, that's crazy, but it's Stefan Diggs to me. So I really wish I got this like on on a mic or like recorded because I've said this a lot of times. I truly think DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the league. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, sorry, he's up like, there. I really do. I really, really do. I've said that for at least two or three years. Yeah. So why not trade him for a running back who doesn't even start on his team anymore? Why not? I know. You trade him for a backup nuts, running back bro, in nuts. like a fourth round pick or something, or a second round pick? Yeah, it's Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien is. A... How is he so bad and still have a job? It's it's the butt chin, dude. I'm telling you, it's the butt chin. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I think the owner of the team just loves butt chins. When he when he mm-hmm. sees his chin, he must think about, you know, but? some rendezvous or, or like, like sex big, capade big he went on. Chin guys. Yeah, they're butt chin guys for sure. I'm not a butt chin guy though. I don't I don't mess I don't mess with the butt chins. So, Man, I that's my only is, philosophy. Tom Brady's got a butt chin. Yeah, see, that's what I think. Maybe that's he why I'm not a his sons too. So. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to slander the man. Oh, all right, all right. Different kind of hey. guys. <laughs> On the lips too. On the lips. I, uh, mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I'm all for love. I, I yeah, but yeah. Uh, okay, does that? Hey, that's, we Bill should get into that conversation. Born. At what age is it weird to <laughs> kiss your kids on the lips? What age does Wait, that get what weird? Age is it past it? Yeah, Probably like you hit an age and you're like, okay, you know. Probably like we chai like four, like five. Very, very early, like yes. toddler, dude. Like when they can stop, when they can stop drinking cups with lids on it. Like when they can drink out of a cup without a lid. You're probably like, if, all right. If you're in, if you're in school, like if your friends can make funny for it, then you're too old for it. You're like, too old for it. Whereas, like, like these, first grade, these kids probably. are like twelve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's like okay. way too. Yeah, hey, yeah. Bill O'Brien was born in 1969, but going. Hey, zinger. <laughs> Okay, that's he's awful at his job, and that's just one of many transactions that we've seen. Uh, I'm, I, I was looking up the transaction list, and this is just a pile of names that no one really cares about. Um, but some of them, obviously we saw Jason Pierre-Paul is going back to Tampa Bay. Uh, A.J. Green got the uh, franchise tag. Derrick Henry franchise tag. Ryan Tannehill got paid for the Titans. I'm, they're so fun to watch. I don't know why I love their team so much. Um, Good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to obviously be paying attention to them. Devonta Freeman for fantasy football fans running back for the Falcons. Cut. Does anybody see a landing place for him? Watch him go to the Bucks. Hey, man. I, I, I'm all for it. 
Yeah, he has burned you for quite a while. Uh, and, then, and then he can go on his revenge tour to, you know, Atlanta every year. You say he's going to the Bucks? No, I'm not saying. Listen, this is that's not confirmed. I'm just saying he's Here, now a hearsay. free agent, and they going have to a slow running back. The Bucks have like the, four of them. Devonta the <laughs> Freeman is slow though. <laughs> yeah, yes, he is. He ain't fast. Mm-hmm. He's better than Peyton Barber. True. Yeah. Peyton Barber's booty. So is Jones. The Bucks need like a first round pick running back. Uh, uh, a Saquon not, type. Yeah. You're, you're not. There is no running back that is worth using a first round pick on. I right. I haven't I see I I can't say yay or nay on that I haven't really paid attention to the to the rookies coming in I'll have to check the mock drafts. It doesn't matter like the shelf life of a running back is just so short. Yeah, I mean you guys got to get an offensive line. Maybe sign Cadillac Williams back. It's probably your best bet. So a lot of things have to happen for this to fall into play. That's that's I'm on that side as no hater and unbiased. Literally just looking at football, that's what has to happen. Right? Like that's. What are you talking about? If, they, if there's any division so for, that the Bucks are going to come out of, it's the NFC South this year. For Tom Brady and the Bucks to work. Oh. But then once you get to the playoffs, man, who you who you have? Who you got to face knows? the. Yeah. Oh, I mean, face I the feel Cowboys, like the 49ers are still going to be there. Oh, 49ers are just going to be there. Stop. But Dak making $30 million a year? <laughs> oh, the money makes the man. He's just like, yeah, all right, I'm good now. All of a sudden, I can throw the football. Plus he's still yeah. he's still playing for a long term deal. He's still gonna ball out, dude. The Packers. Mm-hmm. The I mean, Packers, the Packers should be good every year, and then something happens every freaking year. Did they win like 15 games? They just have bad luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah 13 and three something they win. Ha- something the happens season. every year. Ah, they'll be all like right. They, yeah, but they're still whether good. Whether or not they they get like lemon booty in the playoffs or something Bro. like. We the let Saints. we let Jimmy Graham the go. The Saints, the Vikings, the Seahawks. Yeah, that's a yeah, like, that's tough. It sh- it Cowboys, Eagles. Yeah. S- stop mm-hmm. putting the Cowboys in the fucking conversation. The Falcons. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> one game out. I would Cowboys. rather I would rather hear <laughs> about the freaking Giants. Oh. We're one game out of the playoffs. True. Yeah, one game out of. Wait, the tell playoffs. them about them Giants. <laughs> He's like, I honestly can't name a player since Odell left. <laughs> He's like, they got Odell yeah. still, right? <laughs> Eli Manning's coming back. Oh God! Now what is, is he, he playing this? Year? I'm pretty sure he's retiring. No, right? He's done. He, he, he retired. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's oh, I haven't heard much from him. It's sad. He's usually a very vocal guy. I mean, there. It, the thing is, like, looking through the list, there hasn't been that many other like big deals. Like, there's Jamie Collins to the Lions, and that's really like the best like other name yeah besides uh, like the quarterbacks the quarterbacks are driving the market let's uh let's talk about jerseys uh tom brady wears number 12 and a pretty good player on the bucks also wears number 12 uh chris godwin wide receiver uh what's going on there chris godwin gonna give up his number i would imagine i don't yeah, like it go i don't like it Somebody will give up their number. i don't like it i, I don't you like can't it get up to tom brady who do you give it up yeah. to listen i <sighs> I, I don't know why. I, I He picked that number. You know what I mean? I'm, I think he's cool just keeping it. I think Tom Brady, in my opinion, and this is obviously, again, it matters. I control Tom Brady and what he does. Uh, I think he's going to wind up wearing number 10. Why? Because that's that's the number he wore in college. Remember he played college football? I don't think anybody even remembers that. Uh, Michigan. He played for Michigan. I'm a Michigan fan, and honestly, there was a point where he was winning Super Bowls, and I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I had forgotten he had played college football for the, for Michigan. Yeah, and he probably wants to forget about it, too. That's why he's TB12. As, okay, all right. That's that's what, fair. What's he going to do with TB12 being I, number 10? I just think some – well, it depends. Oh, on, it, true. He has a whole foundation. That's his brand. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're right. No, no, because listen, when you, when you think of it that way. But listen, most people – if I was like a legend in a franchise and – like LeBron changed his number when he went to the Heat. He's like, nah, yeah. I don't want to do it. I'm just going to be six now. But that and, was the number he wore for like Team USA, though. Yeah, and he wasn't like he was like what seven years in the league or something. Or I'm just saying, all right. He wasn't like his 38 years I, old, like his last season. If I switch. change teams and in, in such a drastic change from a franchise like a dynasty down to the lowly Tampa Bay Buccaneers, no offense, Lynch. Uh, I would. I think I just want to change numbers and just be a different person. Like I, I wouldn't even want the 12 is just going to look so weird. On I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm overthinking it, but no, I mean I understand what you're saying, but like who knows? Maybe. Like he's just gonna come in and be like, "Hey, dude, I'm gonna be throwing the ball to probably not very well," 
Let me have that jersey number. <laughs> I don't know. Be like, yes, sir, Tom Brady, sir. Right. Take he it. would. No, no, no. He's not he's not gonna bring all those shirts in. <laughs> Imagine he goes he, no, 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 with no, all of it. With, it's not a with yes, as crazy man. with as crazy as this tray with this this deal is and like the freaking just fathoming the fact that Tom Brady is going to be a buck is is will forever be weird. He just goes double zeros, or just something absurd. <laughs> like some, yes, he, he does double. That'd be so. That'd funny. be say, or sixty-nine I, or something. Oh, sixty-nine. That would be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It'd be a little interesting to see. But no, it, I, I'm sitting here looking on the roster trying to see what numbers are even open. But in the teens, it's like there ain't nothing. I was thinking like numbers like fifteen or sixteen. Something that's like a little unusual. It's Tom Brady. He's not gonna choose what's left. He's picking what he wants. <laughs> yeah, he's going to the TV 12. Hey, 18 is open. He could be Peyton Manning. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Oh, I, I Listen, I don't know what else we're going to talk about in the NFL. I think that's pretty much all that's happened. We, we're we probably glossing over some things. Austin uh, Hooper. Okay. Stop. Um, now, Hooper's Why good. Why did they sign him to, like, the highest tight end contract that's, of all time? That's, that's Blake's new team, though. Yeah, the Browns. Yeah. Blake is a Blake's big Browns team. guy. Big, big Browns guy, definitely. He's moving to Cleveland. <laughs> so yeah, the Browns the Browns signed Austin Hooper, which I I would have loved to have had him on the Packers. Um, but it, we got rid of Is Jimmy he Graham. Good? He's good. I think he's good. But I also he had, is he, he a good he difference like maker. The, or is he just like a good tight end? He had you know the best I mean? year last year, Reggie. Yeah, he's all right. I also think it's a, it was a good move. I think the Falcons replaced him with Hayden Hurst. Did you see that? They like traded for Hayden Hurst. Yeah, the I think that dude's yeah, a sleeper. It was low key, like real, real quiet too. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, but did you see the Cowboys sign Blake Jarwin? Oh boy! I think God. three years, twenty-four million. I think the yeah, best. You're also, you're also paying Amari Cooper twenty million a year. Good, he's awesome. Is he at home? <laughs> at home, <laughs> keep him close. <laughs> uh, so the Packers let go of Jimmy Graham. That was a good. That was good news. And the Bears apparently are signing him, so that's even better news. I just wanted to throw that out there. I Jimmy heard, Graham's so busted. I heard the, I heard the Bears are in the market for like a quarterback too. Yeah, they were trying to get Teddy Bridgewater, and then Bridgewater's like, "Nah, I'm good. Maybe, I'm gonna probably go to the Panthers maybe, now." Maybe they'll go to uh, Jameis, and then the Patriots will end up with like, you know, fucking I don't even know who. You see, who they don't see nah. Do you see I don't the see Panthers Belichick signing anyone like Jameis throwing thirty picks a season? That's just crazy. The Panthers just basically said, "F you, Cam Newton." Uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what that is going they on? Really What's up did. with that? Yeah, that they they great. they said like the QB one and only like they said a goodbye to him and everything like on Twitter. Yeah, they just did like a like Tom Brady announced he's leaving, and then the Patriots are like the goat, you my guy, and the Panthers are like the Panthers announced that they're giving Cam Newton permission <laughs> to seek a trade in which he didn't even ask for. He wants to be no. there, and now hey, they bro. just tweeted. Hey man, thanks. You were you were a good funny. one, man. We, <laughs> we appreciate and it. He, res- he responded. He responded in his cryptic text. Oh god, like, with his weird them. font. But yeah, yeah, That's like great. don't twist the the don't um, manipulate. Yeah. yeah, don't manipulate the words. Don't twist the vocabulary. Or whatever you know what I mean. Yeah, he the took words. a long and time to that write was that. Funny. He took a long time to write that. God. You know how hard it is to do that. Like you have to do that. Every single letter takes like five Hold seconds. Down. It's insane. No, I heard on another podcast that he has his. This could be totally BS, but it kind of makes sense. He has his phone program to like when he says A B C, it's type. It's doing it for him. Like I'm sure. It better be. You know, that must take it, so much it, time it, if it's not. Imagine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's so, like, if he's having kind of like a quote-unquote social media business exchange with his employer, when you think about it, and he's using that text, that is oh hilarious. God. That's a power move. <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, I'm Cam Newton, move, I stay yeah. Cam Newton. <laughs> I can read it like how I type it. Cam, okay, where would Cam Newton go that you'd feel like, okay, this is, I mean, we, we talked about the Patriots, but, I mean, are they, are they still in like a win? Patriots. Back to Auburn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't UF think Cam Newton's stuff. bad. Back to UF, yeah. I think a pissed off Cam laptops, Newton. Yeah. A pissed off Cam Newton, I think, would be good. Like right now, like this is what they're what the Panthers are doing to him. He, I guarantee you, he wants to come back and like shit on the league again. I think Cam's the best free agent yeah. quarterback out there, right? Him and Jameis. Left, left. I yeah, think yeah. Jameis is better than Cam. Mm-hmm. I would not take Jameis is good. Did you say Jameis is better than picks. Cam? Those too many picks. I, I, I wouldn't take that. Dude, Cam, Cam. Cam couldn't throw the ball 30 yards last year. That was a year ago, yeah, Lynch. Yeah, exactly, yeah. but who's to say that, that came back? 
I'm sure it did. We're talking. We're talking pre and post coronavirus. Mm, like, true. We'll it takes two happens. seconds. If Cam can play, he's better than Jameis. Yeah. I don't think so. Like, I really don't. Okay. What if Jameis is better than Tom Brady? Imagine. Mm, I mean, it uh, wouldn't surprise me at this point. Like, James at this point, though, beat, I mean, like, yeah, Jameis beats out Tom Brady for the job. I just don't see. So I don't see Tom Brady chucking the deep ball, and and ugh. every time I, I I just imagine him dropping back, chucking one up to Mike Evans, in which he has to run back 15 yards to but to man, grab it. it, it That's what I was like, just thinking. You got to think like Tom Brady is one of those people that is like motivated off like. Bullshit. Like, I know. Any, yeah, any he's forty three. It doesn't f- freaking matter to him. Like he's motivated off that. And like the last thing I would want as like you know someone going against Tom Brady is to give him like chalkboard material. Mm. Yeah, but your body can only do so much when you're forty three years That's old. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's he runs like a sheep. Like, who knows? He runs like a. Uh, he wants to run for a thousand I, yards. He did in his career. I thought right. Yeah. yeah. He's been playing for 35 years and finally made it to 1,000. Hey, man. Blake's run for 2,000 in the NFL somehow. Oh, my God. Uh, just wild. kidding, Blake. <laughs> so, Fabiano hey. just tweeted, Tom Brady will face Drew Brees twice, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Matt Ryan twice, and Stafford in 2020. Yeah, I, just found out, I just found out the Packers fa- uh, played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa this year. I, I hope there's a season because I'd like to go to that game. I, I, Cowboys I mean, are playing the Bucs, too, I think. Or maybe it's next year. I mean, we weren't talking about the Cowboys anymore, but yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, okay, anything else in the world of sports? I think there's really all that's going on right now other than the fact that, again, Kevin Durant has COVID-19. Um, <laughs> COVID. And I wasn't going to say it on the podcast because I didn't want it on the record because I don't want it to be malicious or anything. But listen, if Kyrie got it a little bit, I mean, like. A little bit? It was a like little a half bit. half a COVID? He got like a half a COVID, like a COVID-8. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, that's about, no. <laughs> oh, my God. COVID-9? COVID-9 COVID nine and a half. And a half. COVID-8. <laughs> COVID-8. You know, just like a small helping of it, you know. Just so he, you know, maybe he would go read a book <laughs> when he's quarantined and just find out the world's not flat anymore. <laughs> it, you know, okay. Hey, you a saw little supper the, amount. A little. The blue, lo- the blue Laga whales went to L.A. The what? The Blue Laga whales. What is that? Are we Beluga talking about whales? belugas? No, Bulaga? Brian Brian Bulaga. Oh, the actual player Brian Bulaga. Okay. Went went to the LA Chargers. Wow. All right. Well, that's good for them. We did the Packers let up go, just so everyone's clear. He's an offensive lineman. Um and he's a part whale. All right, this is we're getting off the rails here and it, we've been on here for quite a bit. Off so I think whales. we Oh my god, we have Ooh, to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else you guys have for the greater good uh, before we get out of here and probably just do nothing because we're still stuck in our house for the next you know month and well it's probably going to be more than that. But stay mm-hmm. inside. Don't go outside if you don't have to. All right, but but for real though, I went out today, and nobody's staying inside. All right, yeah, it yeah, looks like uh, nobody's do, yeah, do doing their thing. Out a little bit, but don't go where, like, As Floridians, we need to do our justice. I, I, I would hope that a million people listen to this podcast for a lot of reasons. Oh, they do? But yeah, there's a minimum yo, a million. Yeah, at minimum, million. yeah, yeah. I, like Lynch said, do not go to restaurants anymore. I, I'm actually, okay, okay, not That's to get political problem. at all, but the governor um, enforced no bars or all bars and all nightclubs are Closed yeah. as of now, they're For, closed, yeah. dude. And and restaurants are fifty percent capacity. No, New, North Carolina and so many other states just shut everything down. I get it, one hundred percent. Businesses need to survive, but you can't half-ass this. You can't. Yeah, yeah I also you have Durant's to just got shut it, it down. Durant. For a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Durant and, got it. And you know that's what the crazy thing is. One of my buddies tweeted it. Um, you know how there's how many basketball players do we know of right now that have it like a lot like uh, over so 10 now like there's too many between yeah. five to ten too many the we know that because they were in close proximity to each other like what i'm not i do not know the names of the players but one dude who was guarding another player like a few days before a few rudy gobert get it. yeah yeah right but i think the dude who was guarding rudy gobert i swear to god i think it was him ended up getting 
Was it Donovan Mitchell? I, again, I, I'm not the biggest. They're on the same so team. And the, say names. Yeah, they're okay, on the same team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but there was another. So it, yeah. there was a player. So there was there was a player A on one team and player B. Player A was guarding that dude. Player B ended up getting positive results for coronavirus. Then that same dude, player A, ended up getting it too. So he was in. Obviously, he was guarding him. Like they're. It's tracking just like a movie. Like when you see a little. Let's say picture like. A little bacteria being touched on like a doorknob, and then it transfers to this person. We're seeing that happen in the NBA. That's happening in the real world. We are just not getting tested because, like, we're only testing like athletes and famous people and Tom Hanks and stuff. Tom Again, Hanks. No, no, I have no like political agenda in that, but that's serious shit. Like, we all, like, you gotta, we have to stop going to places. I feel guilty going to Publix and I don't touch anything, but yeah. I still feel guilty, like, oh my God, because I'm not gonna die from it, but. An old person could. It's yeah, crazy. It is. Yeah, it, it's it's interesting. The people who Keep are your like, hands to yourself, people. Yeah. Well, I took. Yeah. I, I had my dog. We took. The, I took the dog for a walk around the block, and like where we go to like the less populated side, and like, there's really nobody out anyway. But when we when we went out this, I think this morning, there were like I saw like 15 people, and they weren't making any concerted effort to avoid other people. They were just like, yeah, don't excuse me. Like they were like coming up on our ass. Like, they're, like I, we were in the way. We're like, we're just going to, we took detours through like parking lots just to like avoid mm-hmm. people. But people don't care, man. It's no crazy. No one cares. It's going to spread like crazy because no one's doing anything about it. And right. no one's getting tested too. So not great. Mm. You, can you test me? No. Oh, right. damn it, man. All right, fine. Sorry. That's okay. I can't test myself. I have... I have a question I want to ask Lynch, but before I ask that question, um, the there was something that I definitely wanted to get your guys' opinion about. There was a a lot of circulation going around that the Pats are going to tank this year and go after Trevor Lawrence next year. Oh boy, mm. I don't see Belichick <laughs> that would tanking. Suck. Nah, I don't. I don't see it either. But that is, it it'll be funny if something like that does happen. We look back on this pod, but yeah, I don't see that happening. Belichick's uh, and so my old. question for Lynch, yeah. Uh, where do you think Tom Brady's gonna live? Since we are a Florida podcast, mm. where the mm. where are the where's the Brady family gonna move in Tampa? Like near Jeter, he has like Jeter Island. Yeah, where? I think I think it'll be Davis Island or uh, Tampa Palms area because uh, the new USF coach just moved into uh, the old USF coach's house, uh, Charlie Strong. They bought the house out in Tampa Palms, so Tampa Palms or Davis Island. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. I'm gonna go look at available listings right now. It's where and, a lot of a yeah. lot of race players live out on Davis Island. Mm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right, you heard it here first. Camp out on every available house. You may see Tom Brady in Tampa mm-hmm. here pretty soon. So, <laughs> all right, we're waiting for that official announcement, obviously from him. I can't wait to see the press conference, but I don't know that they will even have one. Thanks, COVID nineteen. Uh, at the Chunk Pod, if you want to follow us, you can follow us on there. Find us on Facebook, like us there. Um, obviously, we all have personal accounts. Um, you can find those somewhere on the internet. I don't know anymore. <laughs> we'll be tweeting and uh, posting whatever we can throughout this uh, quarantine. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I I think I'm gonna get bed sores. Not that I'm laying in bed all day, but my ass from sitting. I need to start moving around more. It's a shame. Sucks. I went for a run and I didn't want to like no joke because we are supposed to not like touch our face. Right, right, right. I have I washed my hands. I was in my house pretty much all day, and then I went and ran. But still, like I know we're not supposed to rub our eyes, but it's impossible when you're running in Florida. You yeah, got sweat, sweat dripping down your eyes. Yeah. My finger was just straight up in my eyeball. Mm. So I might not run anymore. You're gonna get know. pink eye, dude. Do like core. Yep. I just wear like a headband. Yeah, I'm or gonna something. wake up tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to look like a douche. <laughs> oh, man. I look like a douche with a headband. All right, but that's fair. For for Oops. health and safety, I will do it. <laughs> Very nice, awesome. I'm actually a, uh, a fingernail biter, so I'm gonna die. Ooh, me too. I'm definitely gonna die. So um, it's not looking good for LeBron or myself. Just so everyone's mm-hmm. clear. Shout out to LeBron. I was the biggest. I was the biggest finger biter, and then I broke that habit. Yeah, I uh, broke it a couple times, it. and then I unbroke it. it. Can I tell you how I did it? Not to get super gross, but you're you're in the health field. I um I always got um, canker sores. Ooh, my whole life, my whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got. That's there's not really a cause. They say the cause is like stress. We're a medical podcast, but yeah, yeah, we are, we are. <laughs> um, okay, so I uh, I had canker sores my whole life, and like just inside my mouth, not like herpes outside of my mouth. But um, they said it was stress caused, and obviously biting my nails isn't great. So like in 2015, I got the worst canker sore I've ever gotten in my life, and I and I had it for like two weeks, so I just stopped. And they say it takes like seven days to break a habit. 
that's like, I don't know, like probably Mayo Clinic says that. But when I didn't have that canker sore anymore, it was gone. Then I got super stressed out like last year, and I started, I destroyed my fingers. And then somehow I just was like, I'm sick of this. And I thought about the bacteria on my fingers, and like I thought about the pain that those canker sores caused me. I still get them, but not, not even close to as much. So yeah. All right. Wow, the more you, you know. That's that's my canker store, canker sore <laughs> story. DeAndre Hopkins. I didn't think I'd ever say that the day. to the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how. But I do that for the greater good of you. I don't want you to bite your nails. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm not 100% sure ne- that the canker sores are going to make the uh, the final edit, but I appreciate the story nonetheless. <laughs> All right, we're That's g- fine with me. Yeah, we're going to get the hell out of here. It's been too damn long. So if you want to see us, find us. Probably uh, Lynch is going to Twitch. Uh, he's going to be on Twitch with the Corona box over his head, I think. Um, box of Corona. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys jumping on. I'm sure we'll do another one of these because what the hell else are we going to do at some point? So. Uh, thanks for listening. If you if you find us on the internet somewhere, uh, preferably on iTunes, rate, review, do whatever you can. We appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to make this little noise real quick, and then we're just going to get out of here. Okay, so here it is. This is the end of the podcast. That's how you know it's real. Appreciate you guys. Sleep well? I don't know. Don't get COVID. Sleep well. Night-night. <laughs> night. <laughs> night. See Kevin Durant run. Oh. Nice. <laughs>